Hi uh, guys, uh, so uh, this video will talk about the condition formatting and uh, watch my other videos as well on the condition formatting. Uh, I'll show you all the links at the end of the video and uh, this time we have a question uh, that uh, user wants to restrict you know a person who is actually entering the data maybe a data operator that he should not be able to enter any text over here in case if he enters some text then you know uh, this should be highlighted in red or whatever color you want to choose i keep red uh, generally in my you know tables because red is actually a highlighter that you know there is some something wrong going you know uh, by giving some another color a person who's entering the data he may not be able to understand what exactly it is but you know when you see something in red then it's actually greater you know kind of a uh, you know uh, it, it gives you a, a feeling that I, I guess you are going wrong because that's why it's showing actually in red right moreover when we uh, do the analysis for, um, you know and whenever uh, we compare the target with the uh, deliverance you know we always actually talk in generally you know two colors uh, the green for the uh, good performance and red of course for the you know for remaining below target which is not of course a good thing so just to demonstrate what I'm actually talking about is suppose you have this uh, you know table uh, date and if I'm going to enter some text here it will automatically be read right it is not going to allow your date however uh, I mean it is it, it actually gives you the alarm that you know uh, there's something wrong here you can't do this right so that's something we are going to achieve this so but the moment I have entered here date you know it actually has given me the date now uh, remember that um, uh, before I start this video let me just quickly tell you that now function is used to have the you know date and the time together uh, which is as per your machine and this is called the date function if, you, if you're interested in getting the today date want that date just use this or maybe the if you if you press control plus shift and plus the colon key you know I'm going to do that control shift and colon you'll get the time the ex existing time uh, as per your machine you know as per computer laptop whatever you're using and if you do the control colon only you'll get actually the date right so that's what I did here actually and it will in insert the today date so now let's see how we can achieve this uh, so what I did is I selected this range and uh, before I actually go um, into the conditional formatting what we actually want to do is uh, we have a function called the day and it always works for the dates right so if I use this function then you know I'll get the days like for this 27th uh, of December 2011 uh, the day was 27 and similarly for 11th August the day was 11 and similarly 27 10 and 13 right so in case if I'm getting an error over here you know if I get, get the error then I want that this should be read so what if I say that let me write my name here obviously this function will not work on text because this function day is specifically designed to you know uh, to give the uh, days you know uh, what whatever the date you actually uh, entered and what day actually you know uh, it holds it returns you uh, basically those numbers right so any text will not actually is going to work here so that's something we are going to apply here so we'll say that if in case if I get the error then this should actually give me this so let me just do this uh, clear the rules from the selected cell and I'll go to the new rule and uh, this time I'll say use formula and what I'm going to say is, is error and then day and then select any cell I'll select this cell ensure that you should not freeze this because it has to work on all the cells one by one as you keep moving down and uh, let's just format this and uh, maybe you can give the font to the text as well a white like this and just press ok and give this ok right ok so we have some issue here uh, alright so parenthesis I think I have not closed the bracket properly yeah that's how and just ok now everything is fine uh, as long as you are going to enter the date the moment I'll enter some text you know I'll get the error right so this is how you can deal with this you can restrict the user uh, not a restrict but you can actually put alarm you know that you are supposed to enter the date only right so if you enter something wrong um, something you know so something like this maybe you can actually you know this color can give him the idea that there is something wrong right so maybe you can write here in some you know um, in this uh, box that uh, for any red color just contact me right maybe you can go here and you can insert a shape and uh, you can write some some this kind of a stuff here and uh, you can give a uh, whatever color you want and uh, you can write here that for any color 
if turns red please stop there you know stop there and call me or maybe get back to me whatever you actually want to do so I mean that's a suggestion it's not uh, something mandatory you can even design it you can be uh, you know more thoughtful on that and uh, you can do whatever you think is good for you so that's my email ID at the end of the video um, and let me know in case if you uh, if you're looking for some Excel training advanced Excel training and uh, VBA training let me know about it and this is I think my uh, video number five on the conditional formatting watch my other videos as well and many of you have asked me that you know uh, I am I'm repeating this uh, in my now uh, in newly uploaded videos that uh, just to help you you know that you're looking for uh, links where you can actually watch my videos back to back so it's quite simple I have created a lot of playlist on my YouTube channel so what you need to do is you need to uh, whenever you watch this video just watch this on the YouTube and go to my name Ajay Kumar which would be appearing just you know right below the video which you, you would be watching and click on that and then uh, you'll go to my this playlist option right so that's my playlist option where you'll get all the uh, videos like so far I have uploaded on MS Excel just a one video and if you want to look for the Excel and the VBA videos all in one go they are around 50 videos though I have now is like you know 60 videos uh, but I'll get them added uh, in case if you're looking for charts and pivots you can click here five videos you'll get for the Excel you'll get the 32 videos for the arrays most powerful formulas must watch videos you can watch these five videos and uh, especially in the format cells you know how you can actually customize your cells and uh, this I mean every every video I, I bet you you go and watch you will definitely feel that you know you actually have invested your time somewhere right it's not a something very simple videos very extremely very very uh, advanced way of you know customizing the your uh, cell entries using this uh, advanced formatting technique and then you have the uh, VBA videos as well uh, since I have just actually started uploading the videos so as of now they're around like 16 17 videos on the VBA right so that's how you can uh, see my all the videos and uh, if you will go to my this Excel video link uh, then possibly yeah so here you can actually check all the videos and here you'll get the conditional formatting videos as well right you can just scroll it down and uh, you can uh, check from here that like this is a video video number seven on the advanced uh, conditional formatting so similarly you have this video color cells and this is again a new video uh, which is uh, advanced conditional formatting right so these are the videos which I have uploaded and uh, you'll definitely gain something out of it right so thank you so much and have a good day bye bye